Hey, hey, hey. So, my name is Tawana, aka Miss.com, and my channel is about lifestyle planning. And this is going to be this week's plan with me. It's a little late, just got back from vacation. So, this is going to be a decorative before, after the plan, functional style planning uh, session. So, let's get into it. So, I've did do some pre-planning on my handy dandy notepad so i do have my list of to do things i had already i think i had a plan in place for this week's spread because i had i already put down my raven sticker because the ravens play the steelers on sunday but i also put these in here and i'm not quite sure why i think because i was planning on scheduling a spa day, which I did not do for this week, but Sunday is going to be a relaxed, chill day, watch the game, drink a drink, eat something good. So we'll probably use those for that. This is from Capital Chic Designs. She is in the process of closing down. So if you like any of her stickers, I would say go hop on there. Go Mind of Coco in Studio Bliss and some Isa Ella Jewels in here. So let's get to it. Now, I will probably speed up this portion of just decorating and talk through the actual planning portion. I did not do extensive uh, meal planning in advance for this week. The only thing I made in advance was um, my smoothies. So this is just going to be lunch and dinner. So for lunch, I'm going to make myself a Greek salad for today. And then for dinner, I'm just going to do grilled shrimp. Something easy peasy. Saturday, I am eating out. Sunday is going to be um, chicken because it's game day. So we'll do wings. Um, fries and broccoli I need a vegetable Tuesday so Tuesday and Wednesday I'm just going to do chicken breast I 
And then for dinner, it'll just be plain chicken breasts or veggies. And then, oh, I, mean, I took out four chicken breasts. So I can have one chicken breast by itself, one with salad, and then I can do the same thing on Thursday. I'm just going to write remix of Tuesday. I don't know. I'm not one of them people. I don't like to eat the same exact meal every day. So Wednesday, I will have... Um, I'm going to have tuna for lunch, and then for dinner, I will have the leftover shrimp, because I'm going to cook the whole pound. I'm not going to eat the whole pound today, and then Friday is going to be um, leftovers. Leftovers are going to be for lunch, and then for dinner, I want to make... The shrimp and crawfish uh, pasta. And then whatever is left over from the shrimp and crawfish pasta we'll eat on um, Saturday and Sunday. So I think we're only going out for during the day. So by the time we get back home, we'll probably want to eat later on that night. So we'll eat that leftovers. So if that works. Um, this is today. Today is just a planning and chill day. I'm also doing laundry today. I am back to work tomorrow. I already scheduled my USPS pickup. He usually gets here sometime between one and two. So I'm just going to put noon so I can make sure that I have all the boxes out there. I have a 1030 Zoom meeting for work on Wednesday. I also, Wednesday is my stock review day. And I mainly want to focus on my, um, I want to mainly focus on my E-Trade. And I have a Robinhood account. I already started closing some of the positions in Robinhood, but I just need to see like to track what other ones, if I'm going to keep the ones that I currently have, because I also do crypto in Robinhood as well. So I want to take a look at those. Oh. I need to... I'm like, I need to call my mom to talk about the bathroom at her house. So I'm actually going to put that. Because Thursday, I don't have too much. Everything else that's kind of on my list will go on this side. Oh, I need to schedule a hair appointment. And I have a sticker for that. I could just write it down, of course. But we have these stickers that we most definitely need to use. I'm going to put this one down. Because I have that 1030 Zoom meeting, I'm going to move my bathroom cleaning and stuff to Thursday during my lunch break. So we'll do the bathroom. We'll finish out the laundry. As I'm going to wash today, I doubt if I get it folded and put away. Don't judge me. And out kitchen. I want to go through them cabinets. So that... 
Oh, the Eagles have the Thursday night game. My other half is the Eagles fan. So, yes, I do keep track of <laughs> when they have games. And they just won. They just beat the Cowboys, which is like their rival. So, I need to make sure I pay attention to that because he's going to want to eat when he gets in. I need to reschedule my hair appointment. That doesn't necessarily have to be done. I'm going to actually wait till Friday to do it because I don't know what I want done. I really just need to get my hair treated. Um, I just got done taking out braids. Um, and I'm debating because I'm going to an event on the 22nd. So I'm feeling like maybe the 21st and I have to see if she has any openings for that Thursday night. And I can just get something quick like a twist out or something like that. All right. We have our habit trackers. So I don't put something down for every day of the week. I just put down the things that already are kind of scheduled that are pre um or predetermined like I usually clean on Wednesdays but because I have that zoom meeting and I have another like one-on-one -on -one meeting that may run into my lunch and kind of because I was off and then we had the holiday I want to move everything to Thursday because between Tuesday and Wednesday I should be caught up with everything and then on the 16th is going to be money review and I need to start planning for my no spending I want to do another 15 days of no spending. So I need to plan that out. Make sure I have all my bills set for auto pay. Double check toiletries, food, all of those good things. Sunday, I want to relax. I do want to relax on Sunday. All right. So I want to post on YouTube. Um, community page more so I am going to I pulled out the habit tracker for that and I am on threads as well I'm really feeling threads right now so this is my three by 30 so that is my three sets of um, well 30 in total so three sets of 10 I do with the weights my squats and then jump squats and then I need to get back into trying to get five miles done a day. So if I do two and a half in the a.m. and two and a half in the p.m., that'll give me my five miles every day. I've been doing really good with journaling, but I like the little sticker. So that's why I'm using it for that. So I brought out the highlighters to separate sections. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I have more than five. So each one of these sections would be something different. So So, and then with the highlighter, I'll just write in between. So what was that? One, two, three, four, five. I don't feel like I'm going to need the six box. I feel like I can write in the box. Um, I usually do leave this bottom section where it has notes. That's usually where I do all of my brain dumping so we are moving close to the end of the year which means i need to do some bookkeeping for my business expenses so i need to do oh see bookkeeping 
because I do have a post-it note uh, of expenses that I did not add to, um, that I did not add to my spreadsheet that I need to get done. I also want to join, I'm going to reopen my boutique, but I am going to start from scratch like I never had one before. Um, so I'm joining a membership club where I can have access to classes, coaches, all of those things. I need to pay my Arizona TPT. My Delaware is already paid. Um, that's it. Okay. So I do want to look for, all right, we're going to make this one personal because I got a couple of items on here I need to do. So I need to, um, don't ask me why I got a Walgreens card, but Oh, because they was giving out perks. I need to turn on paperless billing. Because they send you one even if your bill is zero. And I do need to meal plan for the next week coming. And I want to do that before Sunday. So that way, if I need to order any groceries, I can have it delivered for Sunday. I also want to schedule a donation pickup for December. Because um, I'm going to finish cleaning out my closet. Uh, oh, I want to check my HSA account. And I want to look at some annuity options. Oh, to make a flight. I need to play with those dates so I can book accommodations. Oh, I need to put this down for today because I'm going to pack the orders that I got while I was on vacation today. I'm not going to wait until tomorrow. I already scheduled my USPS pickup. Um, oh, I need to look BE versus Arizona Trust because I need to figure out, do I need to make an amendment to my trust? I already got my money review written on there. Oh, 209 bathroom. I need to see what else needs to be ordered. I got donation pickup. And I did my recording setup today. That's what I'm working on now. Hey. Uh, okay. So. Oh, important items. This I need to... Um, Mail my mom. I put her on my Home Depot card. Mail mom, Home Depot card. Yeah, I just getting all the church's business today. Um. Oh yeah, Astrid's box. And extras. Okay, so social media. I need to do some pre-recording. And then post for G and then blog update announcement. I want to also look at many chat. I want to see if I want to use that or not. Um, do I want to keep Etsy or just move everything over to my site? I need to figure that out. 
Um, oh, I need to update all my bios. Um, I'm feeling like, oh, I'll write that other stuff on there when I'm off camera because I don't, yeah, I don't really need that in the church's business that much. All right, so that is how I use the dashboard layout. Um, I enjoy having the one long um, task list. It does that for me instead of writing each, each individual item down. Um, sometimes when I have a lot of like running to do's, I may just um, color code. So I may highlight all of these green and just use these extra lines. I actually didn't need these extra lines. And this is my preferred method to block them off that way. Um, the depth for me, the dashboard layout allows me to map out and plan several things for several different areas of my life in one planner for 2025 i probably will not probably i am going to move into the um, cloth and paper planner along with this planner along with a classic size planner because i prefer to have all of my business items in one planner for the whole year because i'll be looking at analytics so it's easier for me to go back and I'm really not going to be decorating in that planner. So that's so we're really going to be just using those two planners and then my calendar. Um, I use a calendar for YouTube to kind of predetermine what videos are going to post what day. But I think for the most part, that's going to be it. I'm still working on what that whole 2025 lineup is going to look like. I'm giving myself until the end of this month. If there are, because I have certain pieces now, I am going to start kind of working through it to see um, if it'll work in December. And if that works, then that's what I'll continue to use for 2025. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Make sure you check out some of these other videos. Make sure you like, subscribe, send me a comment. Check me out on threads if you are into like, I don't know. I read a lot of books. So on threads, I do talk about books. I do motivational in the morning. It is just a good time for some good vibes. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Peace and blessings to you all.